<coughs> some more important points about request session and application objects. So to create a request attribute, I need to get the request object. To create the session uh, attributes, we need to get the session object. To create the application uh, attributes, I need to get the application objects. An application object is object of a solid context in a solid. Similarly, uh, we can use page context attribute to create a request or a, uh, session and the application attributes. So let's see an uh, example about solid chaining. Uh, only way we saw this example. So just take an example. If you look at this browser, if you look at this diagram, so here is my browser window. Here is my browser window. Uh, this is my browser window. And this is also browser window. Okay, and this A, B, C, D, E are all are JSP which are deployed in a test app of a web application. So browser window gives the request. Browser window gives the request to a.jsp. Okay. A.jsp again send the same request to b.jsp. Okay. B.jsp again send the same request to c.jsp. Now C will decide whether to include all the inputs of A by the request.get parameter to the b.jsp, request.get parameter to the c.jsp. A's response to the B as well as browser windows request parameter. B's response to the C as a request parameter with the A's input, B's input, browser input to the C. Now C will decide whose response sent back to browser window. Are you getting? Are you getting guys? Understood? Okay. This is the form of request. Same, same will be in the form of session, session object. Same will be in the, in the form of application. Understood? Now these two are not in a chaining. And they want to access this request parameter values. So what should I do? What are the request parameter values coming to A, B's and C's? I will keep in a session and they can able to access. Or I will keep some of the attributes in the application context. In the application of a that is solid context object. These can access. Are you getting? Either they are in chaining or not in chaining. I can keep request attributes in a session. I can keep uh, session attributes in a session. Or I can, I can keep application attributes in a application object understood understood once i get the request it's my duty to it's my programmer duty what attributes to be kept in a which object either request object or session object or a application object clear okay fine so here i can call refer figure which figure baba a chaining figure Control S. Mm. Where is CSMSS? CSMSS, full stack. JSP, chaining. And here I will add figure chaining. Chaining important points. Request session application. Okay, let me add some more note points. Request attributes. Sorry, actually, request is implicit object and I should not use uppercase R. Request attribute A double T R I B U. Request attribute are visible, are visible THROU through THROU throughout request cycle, request cycle, okay, specific to each request, specific to each request, okay, each request. Request attribute created. Request attribute. A double T R F. 
attribute created in a.jsp is visible is visible is visible in b visible and accessible with respect to, with respect to this diagram okay with respect to a.jsp b.jsp and c.jsp because they are in chaining right they are in chaining so request attributes created in a.jsp okay is visible and accessible is visible accessible in b.jsp and c.jsp but not but not in d.jsp and e.jsp right okay because because a dot jsp a dot jsp comma b dot jsp and c dot jsp are in chaining process are there in chaining process okay Next, let me work with the session now. Session attribute, session attribute created in a dot jsp, a dot jsp by getting request from browser window. So let me use here b one. Actually, I forget to add here some browser window. So let me use. Let me add here B one. So this is B one, right? So I give the name called B one because different browsers I created. This is B one, and uh, this is what B two. Okay. <clears throat> so session attributes created in a.jsp by getting the request from browser window b1 browser window b1 are visible and visible and accessible in all the in all the other web resource program in all the other all the other web resource program web resource programs irrespective irrespective of request and response objects object because oh sorry irrespective of respect uh, request and response object that they are using that they are using from only b1 browser window because i kept some of the request attributes in a session some of the attributes in a session and they can be able to access either they are in chaining or not in chaining okay but these programs should also get but these program should also get should also get a request from same browser window same browser window b1 because because session attributes are specific to Specific to browser window. Means B one created session attributes will be visible to only B one browser, but not B two browser. Okay, because one browser one client, second browser 
second client right yeah next let me key let me work with now application attribute yes <coughs> where <coughs> b key okay here let me change to b1 now let me work with application application attributes attributes created in a.jsp is visible and accessible and accessible to other jsp program <coughs> other jsp programs irrespective of any condition Irrespective of any condition means same browser, different browser, <coughs> different location. Okay? But with respect to that application only. To, tomorrow you may say, no sir, this is application 1, this is application 2. It has the application value. I can access from application 2. No, you can't. Because this application scope belongs to this application only. La. Application 2 can, can able to access? No. Now that is also possible. I will send this application attribute value to Second application attribute by using response dot same there. Very different based on your logic, how you want to write. But they are provided this scope, uh, scope that is application that you can work with the different cases. So that's what I said here. Irrespective of any condition. Irrespective of any conditions. You can access. You can access. Now next. How to create a uh, attributes how to create the attributes and how to get the attributes to create the attribute we have the method called set attribute method set a attribute method so to create attributes so I can use set attribute method set attribute of or uh, you can use two values so I would add here attribute name attribute underscore name this is string this is string next term what attribute value attribute underscore value this is also string this is also string both are string you can use this method to set the attributes to modify attribute already I set the attribute value let me modify modify attribute values okay so i can use set attribute same name you can set the new attribute value you can set the new attribute value understood i will use existing attribute name and the value will be new the method is same method is same to read to read or get to read or get whether you want to get the attribute value or whether you want to read the attribute values what should i add here instead of set i will use, use here get attribute name get attribute name next to remove attribute if you want to remove the attribute from the session or application you can use what remove attribute so these are the methods you can call here remove attribute and here I don't need the value so once you call remove attribute once you call remove attribute with the attribute value name that attribute name and value will be removed so just do observe for setting for creating the attribute name or for setting the attribute name and values okay to create or to set attribute names and values I am using the key and value pair I am using what key and value pair and just to read or to remove I am using only key. It works like a hash map. Hash map. Key and value pair. Okay. Now next we shall see that. We shall see an application. A JSP application. JSP. Huh? Yes. Because we are writing their parameter, parameter name. 
and parameter value. Okay, JSP web application uh, to set request comma session comma application attributes. Okay. So we shall see example JSV application to set will set will get or to set and get request session and application attributes. Okay. Fine. Set get you can perform all. You can perform all because already I provided all the methods. You can set the attributes, you can read the attributes, you can modify, you can remove. Okay. You have the methods you can call. So let's see now example web applications. What are the last number? 15th. So we shall see now 16th. 16. Uh, request session an application application scopes okay scope and attribute action two model now you don't want to know that neither okay guys fine 